Hey folks, um, so I'm back again, some ancient history. Uh, my last video actually got a decent amount of views. Like last I saw, I think it got like 15 views or something. So I don't know what the trick was, but like, um, but I think its main thesis was actually wrong because I was thinking that, uh, I was thinking that the, the map in, um, in the book of two ways, the weird looking version was, um, what the fuck? All right. I was thinking this one was a map of Afro-Eurasia and because somewhere in this book he mentioned a map uh, like a book of two ways that has two maps in it but maybe he was referring to a different one uh, it's probably referring to like that B1L or whatever is the one with like the whole world map but you know this one does have both of these versions I think do have parts that are of Afro-Eurasia. Um, in this one, it's like all these things. I think these are all islands and peninsulas and stuff in Africa, Europe, and Asia. You know, and it references Babylon and it references the Red Sea. Um, and so anyway, but I was thinking that maybe this itself was actually Afro-Eurasia because the spells in here are numbered differently from the spells in the normal uh, America map like this one you know these are all 1059 1064 etc so whereas these are like totally different spells 1158 or at least seemingly totally different but as I read on in here he basically compares them all and he shows that most of them correspond to these spells. And so this is a later version of the Book of Two Ways. This is an earlier version. This is one of the earliest ones, I think. This is B3C, I think. Yeah. Um, and this was the first one to really get Florida, get the shape of Florida right. But... It also fucked up some stuff here that based on based on uh, you know confusion in the redactions of in in the copying of earlier iterations of it basically. So anyway, apparently supposedly this is America, but I think it might be meant to actually be either a boat. I don't know. It kind of looks like it's supposed to be a boat. I mean, it even has a rudder here. <clears throat> you know, could be a flying spaceship. I don't know. But it definitely, there's no way that they can really think. I mean, it's hard to understand why they would think that this is really how America looks. Because, I mean, they did correct South America. But one interesting thing is in this one, so this is much later than this one. And this one made a lot of mistakes as i say because it was based on an original map that um you know like is uh, like the original map is 5500 years old but it was originally flipped like antipodally so i had to flip it over so that the coasts are on the right side because otherwise it's like you're looking at it from underneath because it was an antipodes map but they didn't really understand that in hermopolis when they were copying these so where where um you know chile points uh west they made it point to the east and then so that's where you get this shape. And then once they realized how wrong that was, I think they took it as like a either a tradition, like they thought, oh, maybe that's just the style. You just have to exaggerate every turn. So then they did this, and then they did this. <laughs> they created all these other ones. Um, 
or um or it's just a thing that they didn't want to change this because they didn't want to alter it since they didn't understand the what the original mistake was so they just made these to kind of at least match it so that it doesn't look like eastern brazil is west of like you know argentina <clears throat> so anyway um but it's very strange the way or it's just interesting so this is like a one that's like almost four thousand years old and this is closer to three thousand years old or you know i'm not sure what the exact difference in time but it's a bit later several uh you know kings or maybe dynasties later um but anyway like this they did it back to the original like the original style was flipping it antipode like a antipodes map where you're looking at it from underneath you know it's like as if you're in egypt you're looking straight through the earth and you're seeing america from the from underneath so for that reason um everything is upside down and backwards i don't know so this is like south america here basically like the coasts are flipped yeah so instead of um like on this side this is uh it's confusing because they used almost a similar shape as this uh they used the similar shape down here but this is like central america so it's interesting that you that like a thousand or like thousands of years later whoever made this one even though their map is a lot more confusing and less accurate in certain ways in other ways it corrects the inaccuracies and it they somehow figured out what had the knowledge that had been lost for like hundreds if not thousands of years which is the that these maps are supposed to be shown you know antipodally from underneath like the original one so um so this is like alaska here this is like the u uh this is like canada here it's like little as canada right like the biggest country is like um this is the u.s here basically this is mexico this is baja california this is uh cuba hispaniola there i don't know what the fuck this is supposed to be or that and then this is i guess supposed to be the falklands so um so it's not clear exactly what kind of shenanigans they're doing with this if it's simply just an underworld map that is just done in a weird way or if there's something else to it because i was thinking maybe they somehow made a map of afro eurasia where they gave uh, used the same spells so it was like some kind of like um you know antipodal thing where the underworld and overworld are mirror images of each other as above so below kind of deal but like but if this but that's what that was when i was somehow thinking that these were in the same coffin so if this is just in its own coffin then chances are that this is america but i still kind of suspect that it's also some kind of craft that is like a diagram to build some kind of craft because like i guess this rudder thing is supposed to be greenland but like greenland does not at all touch you know north america so it's just more reason to think that this might be a diagram for some kind of craft um but anyway um so that's the spiel so i think i was wrong you know i was thinking it was afro eurasia but no that's only in there's there is a version of the book of two ways that has every continent in it but it's apparently not this one this one is b5c so you know that's i'm sorry i was wrong or i don't know if i should apologize but at least i'm correcting the record 
Ow. All right, my cat's waking up. But this is more of like um, more awesome. Uh, even more awesome than my annoying cat. Wow. Wow. Got some new books. Got 18 new books today. Gave out six of them at the farmer's market. No. No. This guy is so forlorn. Like, what is wrong with this cat? Like, we, like, feed him and everything. Ugh. All right. So, here's the cat. So, this book is the one that is $600 to download the ebook of it. But I found that they have it at UCSC, UC Santa Cruz near here. So I ordered it to my library. Or I basically just ordered it through my library, through interlibrary loan. And then they found out that it was at UCSC. So, um, wow. Well, uh, so this is just a very awesome book. It like shows, you know, it shows that everybody knew that America was here basically, but they can't say that. So what they say <laughs> is that people correctly theorized or correctly supposed that there was a continent that was inhabited exactly where America is. And it seems like they're leaving out the best sources like Plutarch who really showed that people were going back and forth to the underworld. Um, but uh but all right so there's this um i mean it's hard cuz they kind of half ass it but like this one it's talking about early antiquity homer pythagoras and aristotle but like um but he assumes this the the stupidest assumption about Homer, which is that Homer was a flat earther, which is just simply, you know, it's libel, honestly, because he definitely never said anything about being a flat earther, and he clearly understood if you read what Homer wrote or said or whatever, that um he clearly understood that the earth was a globe. You know, um, so, so that's kind of sad, but at least like, at least they have a lot of the, um, information in here that, uh, classical geography, you know, they're going to do a lot of the typical, like, absurd assumptions and conclusions but they provide a lot of the actual data so that if you have a brain cell in your head you could actually figure out the truth um so yeah here's this one Nor novus um N the New World and Novus Orbis, Seneca in the Renaissance debate over ancient knowledge of the Americas. So it's like this whole book is different scholars pointing out that the whole, all the ideas that Europeans had of America were based on beliefs they already had about America for like centuries. Although what they say is that they had these beliefs about the theoretical lands where that were exactly where America is basically, but um, but we're simply theoretical, which of course is stupid. Um, you know, a lot of people are going back and forth. It's hilarious to me when people are so flabbergasted that somebody could go back and forth. Like I was showing somebody my book today, and they're like, "But how could they?" do that how could they get there i'm like bitch they built a pyramid 
that nobody could even begin to replicate and you're like, but how could they make a boat go? Fucking hate modern people so much. I honestly, they disgust me. I just, if I could just go back in time, I would. Um, but anyway, God bless you. If you actually <laughs> watch my videos, you're, you're one of the good ones. Um, so this is interesting. If anybody knows Espanolish, maybe you could tell me like what the hell this says. I think it's basically saying that as soon as Columbus got back, everybody was like, was excited because he had confirmed all these different ancient stories. You know, like, unos decían que había hallado la navegación que cart the Hineses Vedaron Otros La que Platón En Critias Pone por Perdida Con la Tormenta Y Mucho Cieno Que Creció Creció En La Mar So it's basically He's saying that The Cartagena uh, The Carthage Like the Phoenicians, I think that's what this means. The Phoenicians, like the Carthaginians, um, that they were said to, like by, by, um, they were believed to have gone to the land across the sea, the underworld, America. And so, you know, people, when Columbus came back, they said, well, cool, you went to the land of the uh, Phoenicians. And the land described by Plato and Critias when he was talking about Atlantis, he also referred, you know, he said the Atlantis is in the middle of, or is in the Atlantic. It's basically, uh, it seemed to be like uh, Madeira and the Azores and, and possibly the Canaries as well. But he talked about how on the other side of Atlantis was another continent on the, you know, so they, He's saying that as soon as play, as uh, Columbus came back, people recognized that he had reached that land that was on the other side of Atlantis and that had been vi visited by Phoenicians. Um, uh, pone por perdida con la tormenta y mucho cieno que creció en la mar. So I don't know exactly what all this means, but for perdition... Uh, with the torment, torment, and much something, something. So that's like the idea that they went to hell, basically the land of torment, since the Christians had turned the underworld into just a land of torment instead of the uh, Elysian fields that it had been. Um, so they said that. Y otros que había Plido lo que adivino Seneca. So Seneca was an ancient writer, and so they're saying that he, that America was the land that was uh, discussed by uh, Seneca in La Tragedia, Tragedia Medea. So, um, tragedy called Medea. Um, I don't know if that's the thing where Medea like eats her own kids or something or because Medea was also basically like the eastern or the western Persian empire empire so I'm not sure if it related to that but apparently there's a voyage to the underworld in that story uh, se vendrán tiempos de aquí a mucho que se descubrirán nuevos mundos so Time here, much uh, what uh, discovery nights. Oh, maybe the world of nights. Oh, no, new. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> this is new. I think what? new mundos, so new worlds. E seratile. Postrela de las tierras. So this might be talking about Thule, the, um, you know, another ancient stories where it talks about Thule, which 
I'm not sure if Thule is America or if Thule is, you know, some people say it's Iceland or maybe Greenland, but it's certainly possible that it's America because it seemed like most of the kind of legendary islands other than Atlantis were America. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, this is not what we're taught. I mean, sometimes there are people say this, but even this person is saying like, oh yeah, those were just a bunch of, they just were lucky, they just had a lucky guess that, you know, for hundreds of years they believed this belief that just happened to be true. Um, and of course nobody could cross the ocean somehow because it was guarded by monsters. That's what, literally what they tell us. They fucking think we're so stupid. Like, Jesus Christ. Um, so in these three interpretations of Columbus' discovery, allegedly conceived at the instant that it first became known, we see the beginning of a long struggle to fit the Americas into the world picture inherited from antiquity. And we also see the early prominence of one text which would be central to that struggle, the end of the second chorus of Seneca's Medea. Venient anis secula seris, Quibis Oceanus Vincula Rerum eh, Venience on a Secula Secula, does that mean world or something? Quibis Oceanus obviously means ocean. Luxet et ingen ingen ingens patiet tellus. See, when you get $600 books, they don't translate shit. You know, if you if this was a $20 book, it would tell me what that says. But no, they figure if you, somehow if people who buy $600 books already know every language. <clears throat> so, um, in what follows, I shall trace the role of this passage and other texts connected with it in 16th century discussions of ancient knowledge of the Americas. So, Ancient knowledge of the Americas, 16th century discussions. That was the last time we were allowed to even have discussions about what is actually an obvious fact, which was that there was a lot of ancient knowledge of the Americas. Um, you know, nowadays you get laughed out at best. These discussions can be roughly broken down into a debate between two opposing groups, each of which put forth partisan readings of the above lines of Seneca's Medea. On one side stood those who felt the new world was not new. Uh, was not new at all, but had been known, if not actually explored, during Greco-Roman antiquity. They, like the welcoming crowd depicted by Gomorrah, Gomara, turned to Seneca as well as to Plato, Pseudo-Aristotle, don't know who that is. Uh, Plutarch, uh, Theo Theopompus, and other sources for proof of this hypothesis. In opposition to this group stood others who maintained that Columbus, in going beyond the pillars of Hercules, had completely overleaped the boundaries <laughs> of ancient geographical knowledge and had discovered regiones extra. Ptolemaeum, uh, as the Americas were sometimes designated in this period. So he's saying it was not part of the Ptolemaic uh, geography. But that's not true. It's the center of Ptolemaic geography. Ptolemy's prime meridian was America, what was called Insule uh, Fortunate, the Islands of the Blessed. And they were uh, marked on his maps right exactly where uh, Eastern Brazil is. So that was like, it didn't detail. I guess it is extra Ptolemaeum in that his, what we now have of his classic uh, geography doesn't detail the Americas very much. It just shows where Eastern Brazil is. And also actually it shows the West Coast of America. So it shows um, Baja California, so actually, you know, the west coast of America was not at all extra Ptolemaeum. It was very Ptolemaeum. So um, it was super.
Ptolemy. Because this, 